Woo! Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Flair. Today, we are doing something fairly interesting. It's something that, uh, actually, my John, my, my John, my friend John from Mindac Outdoors, this dude right here. He's back, boys. He's back. Ladies and gentlemen, the, he's been requested to be back, and the man is back. How was Alaska? It was fun. A lot he, of time. Well, I spent a lot of time just getting chased by How long, how long were you there? Two and a half weeks. Too long. You catch long. a lot of fish? A lot of fish, a lot of fish. Did you film? I did. I did. Film. Where can they see these videos? On, on my channel, Mindac Outdoors. So link will be down below to go check out John's channel. He went to Alaska for like literally a month, ditched me, and uh, made some epic content. So if you guys want to see any Alaska videos, go over to his channel. But today we are going to go and film a video. John actually, again, he gave us me this idea because I'm sitting here I'm like, how can we get rid of these darn green sunfish? I've been asking you guys, other than just casting a rod and reel, which is pretty boring. I want to come up with a creative way. And uh, John saw this is called like pre, was it preliminary? Prim primitive? 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 I don't really know what that means. Basically, it's like caveman strategy stuff. And uh, so we saw this video on YouTube of these people doing basically what we're going to do today. So we got to go to Walmart. We got to get some supplies. But before I forget, as you guys know or may not know, I'm hosting another contest that gives away a free fishing trip. Come fishing with me for an entire day, either down at the Guggen Squad house in Texas or chasing Nebraska brooch, whichever one you want. Or if you want to wait till duck season, we can go duck hunting. If you want to go duck hunting or goose hunting, whatever you want to do. But all you got to do is go click the link down below the little flare merch link. Click that. And for every item you purchase, if you buy a hat, shirt, and a hoodie, you get entered three times. This ends September. September 1st. So if you want a chance to go hunting, fishing with me either in Texas or Nebraska or just go hunting or whatever, basically you come, I'll fly you in and whatever you want to do that day, we will go and do. But all you got to do is go pick up flare merch. You got to buy at least one item to be entered once, but then each item you purchase throughout the entire next month and a half or so is an, an additional entry. So you can enter as many times as you want. Anyways, so that's, that's the deal. Let's go to Walmart. All right, so here we are at Walmart. We're gonna buy a few things, and then we're gonna make a few things out of just household items and like tree limbs and stuff like that. So we gotta buy hooks here, we gotta buy line, we gotta buy a machete, some rope, and uh, I already have the bottles at home, and we gotta find a stick. So that's what we're gonna be using to make this little contraption. Probably pretty small. I don't, we're going to, we're gonna try, basically like I said, we're gonna try this at a creek that I saw, but then if it works, we're gonna take it to the Brute Bakery and try to get rid of the green sunfish and make it bigger. But for now, we gotta just make like a small version, like a prototype kinda, just to see if it works. So we're gonna get these guys, little size eight Snell, little Snell hooks. Ooh, here we go. This is what I need, big old machete. This is gonna be used to cut down the tree limbs and uh, do all the fun stuff that we're gonna be doing this. We'll get some rope. So we have rope, knife, hooks. We already have worms. So these are the three items we're going to be taking out with us, again, along with some other things that you guys are going to see real shortly. A few moments later. All right, so now we left Walmart. Now we got to find a tree limb, a couple of them to cut down. Now you kind of want the, the more alive ones. I'm not going to go for like the super alive ones, but like the ones that maybe are looking like they might die soon and cut those down because they're going to be a little bit more flexible and you guys will see later why it's important that we have some flexible trees. So we're going to look for some potential fishing what's this thing called per primitive yeah. let's come up with a name for this thing what should it be named golly i don't know the fish catcher <laughs> the, the fish catcher 3000 is what we are trying to make right now so we gotta find some tree limbs for the fish catcher 3000 Woo! sheesh there we go oh, Woo! that is stick number one now just got to take off all the little appendages like that and all these down we need two of these and we'll put them together that's how we're gonna make this rig learn this while watching man versus wild one day hey guys uh this side's sharp in case you're wondering don't just let your finger rest on it because uh that'll happen oh yeah two of those bad boys is it bendy oh yeah two of these guys and we should be should be good to go there we go yeah, come down here, buddy. All right, so this is the little spillway creek that we found. And again, this is a test. If this works, we're going to build a bigger one and a better one for the Brute Bakery to catch green sunfish. But there's kind of like a little canal here, and we're going to see if we can make a homemade fish catcher 3000. All right, so now comes the rigging part. So we have these two sticks, and we're going to want them to look something like this, where they kind of come together and form like an arc. So what you can do is you can use rope or tie and tie this, but I'm gonna cheat and use duct tape just because I think it might work a little bit better. So then we got like a little arch. Now we gotta dangle the bottles down. So I'm gonna go put this in the water and then rig it up in the water so I actually know exactly how we how we want this thing laid out. 
Okay, folks, now that we got the arch built, so what you do is I've got actually seven, eight of these, eight of these little Mountain Dew bottles. So what I've done is I drilled a hole right here in the bottom, and then I drilled two small holes in the cap. And I'll show you how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna attach the rope first. So unscrew the cap. We'll stick the rope all the way through, feed it down, feed it all the way through like this. And then what you wanna do is take this end and just tie a simple little overhand knot. Pull it tight. And there right there now your bottle your bottle's not going to come out it's not going to go anywhere and then we're going to take our fishing rigs which these guys are already somewhat pre-rigged and i just did this because it makes life a little bit easier but they don't have to come like this it's kind of hard to see but it's basically just a snelled snelled little hook with that little slip knot up top so what you want to do is you want to take your fishing line take your little bottle cap run it through one of the holes on the top of the bottle cap that's important on the top of the bottle cap and then you run it back through the other one from the bottom like so so you see, I pulled both of them through, and that's why I got these little sip, slip hook bobber thingies. Because then you just do this, and now you got yourself a nice little slip bobber. So what you do is you fix this guy back on here, and then what you gotta do is you gotta tie this right here to the actual structure itself, and uh, we'll see how this goes. We are done, ladies and gentlemen. That actually didn't take that long. It was like 10 minutes, but look, look at this. Look how sick this thing is. We got, so there's only, again, there's only four hooks and then there's four dummies. And again, it's to space them out. That way the hooks aren't running into each other. So it goes hook, no hook, hook, no hook, hook, no hook, hook, no hook. So there's four and four. So that's basically the contraption. And the idea is there's water flowing in from down there. And the idea is fish will swim. So we're gonna put night crawlers on these and then let it sit. We've stirred up all this water. It looks bad. So we might have to just, you know, go chill for a little bit, sit back and watch these and uh, we'll see We'll see what bites. I actually it really enjoy doing this. This is sick, like building contraptions like this to catch fish, I, I find really, really fun. So again, if you guys enjoy, let me know and I'll do more. But we gotta bait these and we'll see what happens. So that right there, you guys can see a little night crawler on it. That's what we're rolling with. So we got four baited. Cause I really do hope this works. If this works, we can take this to the Brute Bakery and scale it, make it a lot bigger and uh, hopefully efficiently take all these little green sunfish out. We've been sitting here for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so, and we've been watching this little trick. We finally caught one, but we're gonna make some adjustments, but I wanna show you, we caught one fish already, and uh, this is exciting. Look at that. It actually worked. Look at that guy right there. That is the first one of the day. Just a little guy. Again, we're just testing this contraption. We're gonna make a move, though. We're gonna move it, put some bigger worms on, and hopes we catch some bass or some bigger sunfish, but that is fish number one. See you, dude. He's good to go. Look at this thing. So we got, we got robbed on one of them. We have three out of the four worms standing still. We're gonna move this down here. Where the, where the water's flown, we've seen some bigger bluegills and bass, so we're gonna move this guy down. Here is the new setup. So I've raised the bottles up to where only the line basically is showing. I think those big ones are kind of smart. I've also upsized the amount of worms and I spread them out more. So worm, dummy, dummy, worm, dummy, worm, dummy, worm. So four worms, four hooks. And the dummies are just spacers, so when they run around, they don't hook all the other lines. So that's what we're rolling with. And we've moved to the deeper side, as you can tell behind me. More of a puddle, it's actually pretty deep. And we think the big girls, especially the bass, are back here. So we're gonna let this guy sit for probably an hour. We're, we're gonna try to get all the lines hooked at once. And then uh, after that, it's proven that it'll work. And now we're gonna make a new one for the, uh, the Brute Baker. Right now we've got one on the line. It looks to me like they've stole every single one except for one, and we've got one guy hooked. He's a big one. We're waiting to see if any of the other ones bite, but I think they might have stole it. These guys are really, really good at getting the worms off the hooks. But uh, I'm gonna go down and release this guy just so he's not hung up forever. Look at that guy right there. That's the second fish so far. He absolutely creamed a little worm on here. Just a little sunfish. We're still looking for the big bass. See you later, dude. We got that one. That one's that one's good. Oh, we got another one. We got two. 
We got two right now. We got two. Let's see if they get the other ones. What's absolutely crazy is absolutely nothing will happen. And then as soon as one gets hooked, it starts the commotion and everybody, all the other fish think there's a feeding frenzy. And then every little worm that's down there, they go and eat. So we just need these guys to keep splashing just a little bit longer. I don't want to keep them on the hook too long. Let's see if we can catch at least one more. Is that or they feel the resistance? I don't know. I to they feel something. That should be caught. That's a big one. Dude, these are big fish. There, there. Got him, got him. We got him. We got him. Look at that. That's three for three. We have one one hook out there without a fish. Or wait, we got one hook out there without a worm. So we got three fish on at one time. Check this out. Oh, he came off. Well, there was one on there. But look at this. We got one guy right here. One big guy right here. We're gonna we're gonna release these guys back in the wild though. We don't want to keep them any longer. It's a decent one right there. Biggest one of the day. See, you, dude. All right, fish number two. See, you, dude. Well. As you guys can tell, our little fish catcher 3000 worked. This thing is actually probably the coolest contraption that I've ever built personally. And again, I'm not taking credit. I saw this already on YouTube once, so I didn't invent this rig by any means. But it was cool to try it and, uh, and see what it caught. Now, the question is, I got to make a bigger one. And you guys comment down below with some suggestions. I think I need to make a big one and, uh, and put it in the old brute bakery to try to catch try to catch all those green sunfish out of there. I feel like this could be an efficient way. Maybe not. Maybe if you guys know a better efficient way other than just traditional rod and reel. I, I, I feel like that's just too boring. I'm trying to do something a little bit more unique, something with this guy. So if you guys have any suggestions, comment them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, if you did, make sure you hit a like on this video and drop a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe and check out Flare Merch if you have not already. You can have, but for each item you order, you get an entry to win a fishing trip with me. If you guys didn't see the video of me catching that giant pike, that was one that I took a subscriber out that won the previous contest. So if you want to chase Nebraska brutes or go to the Guggen Squad house in Texas and chase Texas brutes, go copy yourself some Flare Merch. Like I said, each item that you purchase is one entry. So you can enter as many times as you want and it ends September 1st. So go check it out. Really do appreciate the view. Peace.